In this short video, I will show how I work on my book, which is the science of functional programming. To edit the text of the book, I use a free program called Lix, L-Y-X. This program has been in development for about 30 years, and I have been using it constantly for about 25 years. It's a very powerful program that serves as a LaTeX editor with um, almost complete visual representation of the text that you're editing. There are cer certain things that are not visually represented, but most of the text feels as if you're looking at the finished book. There is navigation, table of contents, which I create in the book. I can have bookmarks. I can navigate in all kinds of ways through the document. There's a list of figures, list of tables, program listings. I can set LaTeX options to whatever I want. But most of the time, I do not use low-level LaTeX commands. Now, low-level LaTeX looks something like this. So that will be a mathematical formula. Instead of this, I write mathematical formulas like this using keyboard shortcuts. The keyboard shortcuts can be configured pretty much in any way you want. But you will have to know the Lix command name for the shortcut you're configuring. There are ways to find out what that name is. Since I have been using it for so long, my keyboard shortcuts have been the same for 25 years. Um, I can be very quick in typing up a mathematical formula. My book is full of equations. It's full of derivations. You see a table can be made. Um, all of that, here's, here's some matrices. Now here you see special symbols that mean special spaces. So these are invisible symbols that denote spaces for LaTeX. Um, all of that I can switch off and then display the actual math if I want to, but usually you don't want to do that. Um, you want to know exactly what kind of formula you're editing. And this allows me to edit very quickly to find out where uh, the formula needs to be corrected. I put the cursor right here and I can edit right here if this is necessary. The editor allows me to preview what I'm editing. Um, I believe it's here, preview, view, PDF LaTeX. It will actually run PDF LaTeX on this file and show me that uh, preview. Um, I'm not sharing that view but uh, that's uh, what you can do. It will open a preview for the PDF file. I can split my long book into chapters. So each chapter is a separate document. This is the file that includes other chapters. So it looks like this. You see, it's quite visual. I have here includes list of tables, list of figures, index, and I have a back cover page as a special input. Uh, front cover page is a special input. This is a title page, back title. Uh, there are comments I can put into docu to the document that will not be typeset. So for example, I just noticed that there was a place in this document where I was still editing. So that place is the triple star. So that's what I put into the document where I haven't finished editing. So what, let's see what that is. All right, so this was going to be a longer explanation 
of how the composition of relations uh, is defined. Now, this is certainly not a good explanation yet, but I cannot edit quickly. I have to think about what I'm going to say. Let's edit like this. Uh, by selecting the rows where the values in the shared column are equal. Then I want to put some example on the page. So previously in the, here I had an example table. Let's just copy that. Uh, As an example, consider um, the following two tables. Or maybe I can just, just remove following. Consider the two tables. And then I put them side by side. Um, inserting here between the tables a space, perhaps. Um, so for that, I have special space, um, which is horizontal fill. Which will be shown like this. So now I will have two tables side by side. I will edit them later. So let's see. So uh, we have user ID and username. Here I will have username and Telephone. Is your name is text. So you see, I'm editing more or less like in a usual text editor, but at the same time, I'm controlling visually what will have to be edited and where. Okay. Now I note I noticed that if, if I delete this, the size is jumped. I don't want that. So I will edit carefully like this. Username, I'm going to put in some names here. Um, and so on. So let me, let me stop here and I will show how I'm editing equations. So do I have any other place where I'm still editing? Okay. So this was probably incorrect. I put this into the comment, probably incorrect. So let me actually do this. And let's go on. Yeah, another comment, which is probably not necessary. Let's go on, okay. So here is an equation which I can edit since it's in the comment. So you see there is a superscript with an arrow and then another superscript. All over this is a horizontal line. Let me remove the horizontal line. So for this, I look over here. So I see in the title, in, in the status line, type equation, declaration, overline. So I'm right here, I do a backspace. Oof, the overline is gone. Um, let me see if I can change the, the uh, formula in some other way. So for example, this, I want to put it in front. So I just select this, cut, backspace, put it in front, paste. And then I'm putting large brackets, which I have special keyboard shortcuts for. 
Now it's not nice because I have large brackets here and also large brackets here. Let me make these brackets small. Okay, so if this is the bracket that has under the subscript position. I put it right here. I remove the large bracket, All right? So in this way, I have edited the formula, but actually maybe um, that is not so clear what I'm doing, but um, I know what these formulas must be. And so visually I edit them. I do not look at the LaTeX. Now in the LaTeX, for example, I can type, if you know LaTeX, for example, the formula alpha, for example, that's a Greek letter alpha, but it will automatically show me the Greek letter alpha right away. So I can type in arbitrary LaTeX and I have it shown immediately. So one thing that is not shown very well here is page formatting. So some of the page formatting is going to be not, not optimal. So you have to preview the PDF file and then try to uh, change the formatting by rewriting the text or making adjustments to spacing and so on. But that is equally uh, difficult if you don't use special programs. So this program will not help you format the page in a nice way. Um, but uh, so let me actually um, preview this document and I'll show you that on the screen. One second. Um, here it is. All right. So this is uh, the document that we have just looked at um, in PDF. Now you see everything has been typeset. Um, the pages are formatted. Everything looks clean and nice. And here, for example, I don't like that there's one word hanging. Um, um, so how do I remove that hanging word? Well, I shorten the, the sentence. So I, I think about the sentence, most likely there are some words that I can just delete like identity relation. I'm saying that this is a relation which is identity. I don't have to repeat that. So, um, let me go to D342 and remove the identity relation. So D342. Here it is. Now you see the formatting here has nothing to do with the page formatting. It's like in your text editor. Uh, where you first write the text and it's formatted later. So let me just remove this. Uh, and let me preview the result. So. Three, four, two, that was it. So now that's better. So this is the way that I'm editing the book. You can see um, this is one chapter being previewed by itself. It's faster than previewing the entire book, obviously. Um, this chapter I can try to read again and edit, but it's actually just as easy to edit 
in the leaks editor. So um, I can see, so I can save this. Um, I can see pretty much what the page will look like. Um, I can do a lot of things here in, in terms of usability. For instance, there are diagrams which I did not make reviewable, but I could um, if I wanted to. It's just that these diagrams are usually difficult to edit already. So what I could do is I could say insert um, preview. So then it becomes this black uh, line. And now I see what it will look like, uh, this diagram. But if I click on this, I can again see my leaks presentation, which is, in this case, very close to LaTeX. I'm using a package to edit diagrams. Essentially, leaks doesn't do anything with those tech commands that I have to edit. but if I make this into a preview with this black line, then I can right away see what it will be. And I, if I can, if I, if I find an error here, so P A X P B Y P B X P A Y looks looks okay. A to B, P A to B, P B X to Y, X to Y. So I can check that everything is fine and go on but I cannot preview the location of this figure on the page. So let us look at D344 in the document and see what happens there. So D344, um, yeah, that's where it is. Um, not very good because it's beginning of the page. Um, and then the text is kind of broken. Now this kind of problem, I cannot see that until I preview the PDF, obviously. Other than that, things are looking good. Um, the formatting looks okay. The proof here, um, nothing seems to be too bad. So, but since I'm still editing this chapter, if I edit some text in front of this, this entire statement 344 could be moved to the middle of the page. So I'm not going to fix this until uh, I finish editing the entire chapter. And then I can um, revisit and see if the formatting is still problematic. So, um, this is just a small advertisement for uh, the Lixt software. It's free software available for all platforms. Um, very powerful technical LaTeX editor that you need to learn. Certainly it's not obvious, but if there are any problems, um, there are lots of help on Stack Overflow and such, Tech Overflow rather because this program has been in use for a long time and many users who have been asking many questions. So if there is any problem, most likely this problem have already occurred 15 years ago and there will be a solution found online. 